Yeah. Okay, everybody. Um, welcome back to a new edition of the uh, Chilean Probability Seminar. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of uh, introducing Alejandro, who is here visiting us uh, for already a month and a half, and who is going to be talking about uh, balance. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. okay well. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure to be back, uh, and yeah, I'm thrilled. Uh, but you said that I, I, I move uh, so many people. I'm interested in the No, that's not possible. <laughs> okay, so I expected to um, use a, a blackboard, uh, but. Um, Sorry. Um, so if you, if you cannot see, please uh, let me know. Um, so the, the subject of this talk is uh, a random walk model called the balance excited. A random walk. In two dimensions. Um, so the, the talk is based on several joint works, uh, in particular one with uh, Omera Angel, uh, Mark Holmes, and a more recent uh, joint work with uh, Shuo Chi. So, um, I, I will start uh, giving some background about the, about the model uh, before I, I, I give you the definition. Um, so this is a, a, a random walk model, uh, which is not Markovian, uh, uh, as, as you, you know, there are many examples uh, of this type of random walks. Um, it, but in particular, it is a martingale. Um, and I I consider that a, a well part, part of the reason why I, I have been interested in this model is is because it, I think it's a good example of a martingale uh, where one can uh, uh, say or give uh, information uh, about two two things uh, so for uh, let's say general knowledge I'm going to write. Uh, there is poor general uh, knowledge about the range and uh, the recurrence or transience properties of the Martin Gills um, to, to illustrate this uh, statement uh, I I want to um, quote the, the result of Menshikov, uh, Menshikov and Popov. This, this, is, this I think, is a, a 2014. <clears throat> so they, they prove that um, if the uh, I look at a martingale, a martingale in ZD, and the dimension is larger than two. Um, there is a delta such that a, a for all um, uniform elliptic, I'm not going to maybe make a formal definition of this right now, uniform elliptic a bounded jump. So this 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 means essentially a a, a, a reasonable martingale which covers the whole space, uh, it's not, which is not degenerate. Um, the re, the the cardinality of the range R n. So I'm calling R n the cardinality range uh, is larger than or equal than n to the one half plus delta. 
So, uh, well, of course, uh, the, the, the Marty Gale most of you know uh, very well is the simple, the simple symmetric random walk. And that case is would be n, o, n over log n. And nevertheless, you would, so you would expect that for a, 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 any reasonable Marty Gale, Maybe it's very naive to guess that Rn would be close to n over log, log n, but, but this is this is uh, the only let's say non-trivial result uh, that I, as far as I know, um, it's uh, has been proven about the Martingales. So <clears throat> okay, so I, I let me give a definition of the of this particular Martingale, which is the balanced. Excited run the walk. So, okay. Okay. so uniformly elliptic. Uh, if you think about the case of, um, it, uh, so it, it's bounded range. Uh, uniformly elliptic means that that the jumps uh, form a, a set of vectors which generate. Rd, if you want. Okay. okay. So, um, the balance exciting on the walk it was introduced in uh, 2010 in, in an article by Benjamini, uh, Cosma, and uh, Shapira. Um, and so, so, excuse me, in the cardinality, they do not say nothing about the shape no. of the range, but it, it could be something in one direction. Yes, it could be. Oh, okay. They, 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 so they, they, I, I don't think they say anything about the shape, no. But okay, in this case, in this case, in this case, of, in this case, I don't think it's going to be stretched. It, it must cover some sort of ball or something like that, or no? I, 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 I don't know because I, but, but, but you will, I will give you an example where that's not true. Okay. But it's not, it's not uniformly elliptic. So the balance accelerator on the walk will turn out to be a martingale, which does not satisfy the, the, this. This, these conditions. So, um, so this um, so this model was introduced in 2010, and uh, uh, I, uh, part of the motivation, uh, which I'm not I, I'm not going to explain this because it, it was it was uh, to understand the the what's called the once edge reinforced. Uh, Run the walk. Then, okay, so so let me give you the definition. Um, this is a this is an important part of the talk. Otherwise, you will not understand the rest. <laughs> uh, so, um, this is, this will be a discrete time discrete time run walk uh, on the D. Um, so besides D, I will uh, introduce two other parameters, which I will call D1 and D2. And uh, their name, I mean, the, the, the choice of the layer has to do with the fact that they will uh, really play uh, the role of some uh, um, sub-lattice of D1 and D2 dimensions. Um, 
I will call the, 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 the economical unit vectors of the of the D, uh, E1 up to E D. Okay, so EI of course is this. That I uh, the I position. Uh, <clears throat> Then um, now the the rule uh, of the dynamics will depend on whether the Randall walk is at a previously visited site or not. So. So first, if the random walk, which I'm going to call Xn, at a given time, is at a previously visited site, It will jump uh, uniformly to nearest neighbor sites in directions in the directions plus minus e one up to e d sub one. <clears throat> so. So I, 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 I mean, really, it will jump in, in a direction from uh, uh, 1 to D1. Uh, um, and this will depend only on uh, whether or not at the nth jump um, the random walk um, so I said, yeah, the run walk is at a new site. So in this case, you see, uh, the run walk is, is uh, this is the condition here is that the run walk is at a new site, and and the the jump probability will be one over two d one, uniformly in those directions. Uh, unvisited, sorry. Oh, okay. Previously unvisited. And um, similarly, <clears throat> similarly, if a, a, a time n xn is at a previously visited site, a, it will jump uniformly a, into the Let's say B, well, this is B, B minus B, um, one plus one, um, directions. So I think that would be two here. Yeah. So I, 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 there's something that I didn't say, maybe, uh, uh so. For the other directions, uh, as I uh, as I wrote, I'm going to write this formally. Um, given the whole history, if, it, if x i, if, if x n is equal to x i for some i, for some i, um, d minus one plus uh, d minus d two, 
plus one. It will jump uh, uh, with probability one over two d two. So I think it's better to give you an example so that you uh, so this is this, this is really uh, clear. Can, can I uh, d two can be smaller than d one? Yes. The so sum, there can be an overlap. The sum, sum is D or? Sum equals D. For the moment, I will assume the sum is equal to D. Okay? And D, and, and D1 can be smaller than D2. So let, let's let's look at some examples. Um, yes? You would assume D1 equal plus the two equal D means that we have some coordinates and only will change the graph. It's more uh, complicated, more complicated than, that. than that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see that. So, so for the moment, we will assume that D1 plus D2 is equal to D. And uh, I will use the notation M D D1 D2 for the corresponding random walk. Well, this means the random walk which moves in ZD and which moves <laughs> according to the first D1 coordinates at new sites and according to the last D2 at old sites. So well, um, maybe the, 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 simple, the simplest example to draw is M211. So what does this mean? It means that, and, 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 and by the way, I, I'm assuming that okay, you start, let's start at zero. Um, so this means that um, initially, the random walk can jump only with probability one half to the right to the left. In the second step, again, it can, it can only jump, if, if, if it does this, in the second step, it, it can again only jump to the right to the left with probability one half. So maybe it does this, okay. Maybe in the third step, so since this, again, is a new site, but maybe in the third step, it comes back. But when it comes back, it will, all, it, it will only be able to jump vertically because this now is an old site with probability one half up or with probability one half down. In if I can go A. What? If I can go A, I think you name one and I Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Equals PI. Yeah. It's not uh, fine because maybe somebody's confused. Okay. okay. So um So let me let me give some um, um, give you some information about what is known. If the, so I will say the main question about this uh, this uh, random walk that has been people have tried to address is uh, whether the, whether or not the random walk is is transient or uh, recurrent. Um, so in So first, um, if the dimension is larger than or equal to five, um, then necessarily either d one or d two is larger than or equal to three. And 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 since this implies that 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 one of these is larger than equal to three, then then you have trivially transients in this case. And and, and in the in, in their origi original article, in, in, in Benjamini, Benjamini, Postman, and Shafir and Chavira, it, it's a very short uh, paper. They they prove that the case in four. To two is transient. So 
they, they look at this case, they prove this, this one is transient, they're using some work on Philly. I'm not going to explain this proof right here. Um, so, and the, well, um, And some other cases, which are also not trivial, that have been solved, are um, there is one of which was solved by Perez, um, Shapira, and Susi, which is the case M three two one, and it turns out to be transient. And um, and more recently, Perez and Chin uh, show that th this this was show that the M three one two is also transient. Two thousand twenty four. This was a, a, I think a, I'm not sure if it's a, if it is already published. I mean, um, okay, so. Um, I want to to talk about the uh, or somebody is uh, the the fact that 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 uh, yeah I will have this comment there. Uh, um, so there is the, the, the what I would call the overlap cases. Uh, they are not uh, uh, necessarily trivial. So this means that you could even you could consider the case where the one plus zero is larger than the right. And um, you have a less than okay, larger than larger than or equal. Even yeah. <laughs> okay. So one plus D two. Sorry. D two. Sure. Thanks. D one plus D two. Okay. So um, some some years ago uh, with um, I think uh, this was two thousand twenty. I remember. Uh, with um, Daniel, Daniel Camarena uh, and Marcelo Paniso, we looked at the we we looked at the overlap cases. So we, we proved the following. Um, <clears throat> so the dimension is larger than equal to four. Um, and if I look at the case, I mean, there's, there's one case we, we couldn't look at, which is, you know, we didn't solve, which is the case, uh, uh, M432, so exceptional this case, um, the random walk, And the B one, B two is a transient. Okay, before before I continue, I I, I different, different, sure, different, from, different, different, different. Yes. So okay, I I want to be sure that everybody understands the overlap case because I'm I maybe we had some discussion here, but not not everybody is following. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, that's not obviously transient. The M4, no. It doesn't have like more, more, more movement than M4 to 2, in a sense. Like you, you can move to more places before you jump uh, the 4 to 2. Yes, but, but, but you have some you have some kind of the, the thing is that the thing is that a, 
you have a, the three dimensional movement is, 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 is not a, a standard three dimensional random walk because it has overlap with the two dimensional one. You see? Yeah. So, sure. It could, in, in principle, uh, uh, so I, I, I'll, I'll come back to it. Uh, it is related to the M422. Okay. You could think that some solution like that could work. Which is actually what happened. I will, <laughs> but, it, but it's not exactly. It's not. It's not trivial. It's not like just applying. So, so, let me quote here. Uh, this is another recent result of Perez and Chuching. So, um, and I, and I understand they maybe they do some variation of uh, of, of of the of the method of a. Uh, Benjamin Gosman Sharia, sorry. So, uh, so Perez, Chuochin uh, um, looked at, at the exactly the M four three two case, um, showing that it is transient. So this is a two thousand and four. Um, um, Okay, and and ma ma many of the cases uh, uh, covered by this theorem uh, are are trivial. Uh, this is a way of uh, just uh, so let, let's let's uh, let's make a, a short analysis here. If I, I will call uh, R as the number of uh, uh, so it's it, th th this is this is somehow. A measure of how far you are from the non-overlap case. Okay, so you can write uh, the dimension as uh, d one minus r, uh, d two minus r plus r. So, and this has to do with your question, I mean, because uh, each of these, uh, in a sense, um, each of these components uh, is is an independent movement, uh, like. Uh, I know, I know for sure here that the movement is not contaminated by what happens with the, the D2 movement uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so it can be shown that, it, it, I mean, it's not difficult to see that if, if the dimension is larger than equal to seven, then you, have, you automatically have transients. Because, because in that case, at least one of these three components will be larger than equal to three. So and that, that's what what doesn't happen eh, actually in, in this in this case. So you have to do something more. Um, so really, the 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 cases which uh, are not obvious, you have to cover in this theorem are the, the dimension six five and the m four two three. So okay, but now this is a more or less a, the history of. A, of the general model, but I, now I, I as, as, as the title of my talk uh, says, I will focus on the two-dimensional case. Um, you, you can mention some, some relation with some mapping, uh, yeah. as you will say it now. Yeah, no, well, okay. so this is all the all the Martingale. The balance experiment yeah. is the Martingale. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the relation. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure. So, so the the questions I I I, I want. Note, it's a matting which is not uniformly elliptic. No. Right, right. It's not uniform. points. It's not uniformly elliptic. Sure. So it's, it's not covered by the theorem of Menshikov. Okay. So, um, I would say that <clears throat> there are some questions that that that, that were open in. So maybe I will begin with your one of your questions. <laughs> it's a bit. In the in the article of Benjamini Cosma and Shapira, I think they yeah, I think they they, they did some neural simulations and they observed what I will call an asymmetry. Of the range of the M two one one case, 
in two one one. So, so what's going on? The um. So I know that I move horizontally when I when I am at new sites and vertical vertically at old sites. <laughs> Notice that whenever I make three steps, there's a positive probability of jumping vertically because I, I can go back. So essentially, the the vertical movement, uh, yeah, and this is true, the vertical movement is going to be at time n of order. The fluctuations are going to be of order square root of n. Because you always have with some <laughs> positive probability some some vertical jump. But now the horizontal movement happens only when when I visit a, a some side of the range in, in only in the range. So so the the width is actually if I call R, R n the cardinality of the range is going to be you expect it to be square root of uh, square root of R sub n. So what they observe observe in the simulations is that is that a, the, the the picture is something like like what Smith said. Let's say this is not the <laughs> this is not a uniform related case. It's some, uh, so the fir the first question is uh, if one can really prove that this is a uh, symmetric. Uh, um, uh, of course, the second the second there's a second question very which is uh, very natural and. So if one this Rn, it is it is not n in the in the case of uh, m two. One one. Rn. Uh, no. So this is m two two. So this what is this Rn here? It's so R, Rn is is the the cardinality of the range, and our uh, I'm finding capital Rn is the set of sites which have been visited. So this case, <laughs> For the one dimensional one, okay. So you don't know exactly what is this value, like for M two one one. No, so I will I will talk about that. Okay. <laughs> we don't know. So so it's I for some uh, mm -hmm. I. So that, that's the range. In case in case you, yeah, that's what I mean by the range. Okay. A any other question? Okay. Say, second. Second uh, question, uh, which was uh, also uh, asked in, in their paper, is, 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 is whether or not this is recurrent. So I, I would I would I would tend to believe it is. It's open. I, I would tend to believe it is recurrent. The third third one. Uh, so these these two two cases are. Uh, what happens with one m one two, and m two one. So I also believe, of course, these should also be recurrent. Um, okay, let's see. So, so some of these questions. Uh, my talk is about the answering some of these questions. Um, so, as a matter of fact, yeah, I, 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 maybe I can, I can, I can keep the picture here. Our We're going in. Okay. So the the the, the first uh, theorem I want to state has to do with the, the range, this picture. So this uh, was proved. Uh, this is something I proved with Mark Holmes and Omeral Andel. Um, 2023. Um, so consider the M2 1-1 walk. Then the first statement is that so I will use I, I will I will explain exactly what this notation means with the range is um, smaller than n divided by improbability. 
Um, okay, so the, the first statement of the theorem uh, 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 proves the, 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 the asymmetry of the range because, because uh, Rn is little o n, and, and so of course, uh, you, I, I, I think the picture is in the, okay. according to my convention, it should, it should have been like this, right? Uh, Rn, uh, yeah. So, so uh, this proves the, um, so some comments about this uh, square root. Uh, so this, this, you can improve a little bit this, uh, at least I, I think you could get a, a rid of the square root, but uh, um, the bound is, uh, the method that we use to prove this bound is very general. Um, and uh, that's part of the reason we, we, we don't get something uh, sharper because uh, we have also a, a lower bound and the lower bound uh, we got this uh, n to the 4 over 7 okay, this is not so important okay log n squared that's not so important the, the probability yeah it's a uh, larger than one half uh, um, now, uh, I want to so according to numerical simulations, you can, I know yes. it's a bit lost. Yes. So I thought that you would move more in the horizontal direction than in the vertical, but it's the other way around. My intuition is like you are spending more time. So with the new one, you move it horizontally, and with the visited one, you move on the vertical. Right. Okay, well, so you, you move more vertically. Because, you move more vertically. Yes, because because you move vertically whenever you visit an old site. Okay. And and and, yes, and actually, whenever you whenever you make three steps, you will have a positive probability of visiting a, an old site and jumping ver uh, so you will jump vertically. You see so. So okay, each three okay. steps, you will have a positive probability of jumping vertically. Okay, so that's why you get the square root of n. Right, but, but horizontally, you can only move when you are in a new, at a new site, and this happens only when, when you increase your range. And that, that, so that's why, so maybe this explains, okay, yeah. this picture. Um, okay, so, so uh, yes, these explanations were made by Omer, uh, uh, the, I think uh, it's something like 0 0.78. So <laughs> you have some work. Yeah. So you see, that's why I, I, I th this is really, really, really very general. I mean, the, the argument here works even, okay, it even works for a simple symmetry on the wall. <laughs> Of course, you're not going to use this this argument, but for very, for for general dependence uh, in, in dimension two, you will get this this bound. And by the way, I I I I, I think we don't have a, a, a like a reasonable example of a two-dimensional random walk interacting with its its past where the range is larger than this. So that's not even I, I don't. Okay. Now uh, I I will come back uh, and uh, give some uh, idea of the proof uh, for for this um, theorem. But I also want to to mention a more recent uh, result, um, which is really okay. Um, uh, it has not been written yet, but uh, I hope we will do it soon. So this is in collaboration with uh, Xu Qin, who was a recent Tsinghua University. Um, so we prove that the so the M two one two random walk is recurrent. So this. Uh, yes, it's it's a it's a first case recurring ca case that has been there. Uh, um, okay, so. 
the 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 two one two one one yes the two the one no so are open. Um, maybe I'm not sure which proof I will explain more, but let's see. Maybe I maybe I can I, I can give a little bit of idea about the proof of the, yeah. the last one. Um, And I'll, I'll, also, I'll, I'll, I can explain it. So is there, is there any other question? No? It okay. cannot be obviously positive recurrence. <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. But I... I, 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 I don't have no day. <laughs> yes, I uh, thought about it. That we were sure no, no, I, I don't think so. But it, it, the, yeah, the thing is that... It, it, you have, it's true that you have a two dimensional movement, but yeah, it's contaminated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See? That, that, that There's some con contamination given by, by the overlap. Yeah. So it's not, um, yeah, I think, I think that, um, um, no, I, I sort no, of, so, so, so for example, in, the, in, in this case, it's even less, well, it's even less obvious because in this case, you have a two dimensional movement only. In the new sites, so maybe you're not visiting very frequently new sites, as you saw in mm -hmm. in the theorem I raised. Mm -hmm. The the cardinality of the new sites is little of n, mm -hmm. so so it's not. Uh, I mean, so let me say it like this: in the in the M two one one case, the cardinality of the new sites uh, apparently according to simulations is this. So. Uh, I, who knows? Well, here I guess it's it's going to be large, much larger, but it's it's not. But no, is there an obvious definition of positive recurrence in this case? No. <coughs> well, so so since it is not Markovian, we have to be more careful about this, this kind of definitions because they are not equivalent, right? Right. Right. No, so, no. so by, by, by the way, we we proved it. We, there's something else we, we were able to prove uh, for the M two one one case. So let's call D. D the set. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm going to call D the set of uh, sites. <laughs> This is it. If you only offer by the the walk. So uh, is something else we proved with uh, Omer and Mark. Is that the probability that D? Is um, the empty set mm -hmm. or ZD is one? So this has to do with the, uh, I mean, in, 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 for Markovian and on the walk, of course, uh, uh, this is it could be right. Huh? It could be right, yeah, uh, it could be random, but yeah, but this is this is something, and this is not the. Uh, it's not trivial. I mean, this is for what kind of? Yeah, thanks uh, for the M two one one. Okay. Okay. So um, maybe I'll explain a, a little bit more the proof of this uh, M two M, M two one two case. Uh -huh. When you put OC D OC two or it, it was so, so, no no so, yeah. <laughs> Or it was for any MD and two. Oh, no. The two. Okay, so let's see. Is there any conjecture about also, or it's really random or, or it's no, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Is there any conjecture or that? 
I, my guess is that it should be Z, Z2, that it should be recurrent. Probably <laughs> one. Yeah. It's a guess. I don't, I don't, uh, it's not looking at it. I mean, it's not very obvious when you look at the healthy, you've done a lot more. So. So maybe maybe I can explain why because you see the run the walk, it, 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 like he, he begins to, at new sites he 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 explores new territory moves uh, horizontally but so once in a while jumps up at old sites and then again and but you you begin um, you have like um, like these uh, lines of visit, visited sites. Um, no, the picture is, I, I should do it in the opposite way to understand what's going on, sorry. Um, okay. So maybe I, 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 I jump uh, horizontally, then, then I come back, then I jump vertically, this is, is an old site, uh, and so on, and, but, but I, will, I will begin to create like these long lines of old, of, of, of all visited sites, and whenever I come back here, I, I get somehow get stuck. Mm. Uh, even even if uh, I visited his whole line, I I, I, I will get stuck. And I, I'm just I, I'm what I'm going to say is very it's not mathematical at all. It's just like a heuristic. Uh, you and and then when you want to when if you want to come back for example to the origin somehow after a long time, uh, you might believe it's not recurring because you have to really move it very far maybe to a, a, a new site and be able to come back to this line and come back. So it's not very clear. Uh, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't guess so much that it is recorded. I think it is. Uh, so. and, but however, like for all cases that you have told, for MD, D1, D2, this probability is also true. Yes. yes. So except for M2, M2. Uh, M2, M2 one, two, one, one. M2 two, two, one. Yeah. So the M2, M2, two, M2 one is M2 the only two, one where we don't know this is true. Right. Okay, so let's see. Um, so I don't have too much time, so I, I'll explain maybe the <clears throat> In M2, 1, 2 recurrence. Very, 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 very a sketch. It's not the. So, one way of proving the recurrence of a, uh, for a simple symmetric random walk is, is, is using martingales. And, and some people uh, have exploited this in a lot, like Mexico, with this Yapanov really. And, and the method we found, uh, it's apparently would work, uh, yes, for this case, uh, um, we, uh, some, it, it is some kind of a, a, a sophisticated version of a, a, the Martingale method uh, uh, of Menshikov. So let's see. Um, for, for a simple symmetric random walk, so this is something everybody, I'm not sorry, not all of everybody, but most of you know, but it's a good tool. We, uh, let's call it SN, in dimension two. Um, we can use the fact that this function is harmonic, except, except at the origin, but this function is harmonic. So then, this uh, is a martingale. And, and as you know, I, I'm just, uh, 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 when, 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 you, when you use the fact that this is a martingale, uh, you can look uh, uh, at the probability. So sorry. I, I make my random walk start from the edge of a ball of radius small r. And I look, or maybe, maybe I make the wrong walk start from my point in the middle, and I look at the probability that the walk exits the ring through the inner ball or through the outer ball using 
the fact that this is a martingale, the optimal sum kind of theorem, and, and you will get the probability a, a exit through inner well you can for the students you can you, you, I mean everybody should have seen this something like log r minus a constant divided by log r minus log small r and, you, and now you take the limit when large r goes, goes infinity you get, you get it, it is one so, so you see when r goes to infinity then this probability tends to one which means that starting from any point I have possibly probably one of coming back <clears throat> so okay so this 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 uh, there is well there, there is a book of magic of about this uh, this uh, very magic of book of and in the case of a, a non Markovian on the one you might try to work with some other type of um, um, super martingales. Actually, it's enough to work with a super martingale. And actually, um, so what what we try to do is uh, work with this one. Um, uh, but this 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 super martingale doesn't give you a, so the, the the problem is that. So the so let me maybe explain. This is actually not a super martingale. In this case, you have to subtract some 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 um, uh, some stuff here, which uh, I, I I I I will I will use as vocabulary. It is it is a stuff having to do with the fact that the random walk sometimes I, I will say takes some energy. And and this will this will happen in in two cones. So if I'm moving here, it is it is really super martingale. But if I come here, I pick up some some stuff which is very bad. So you have to subtract something here. And when you when you subtract what you have to do, it doesn't work. So the, the proof that I mean you get you get you you get something which is really not not enough. So so the way we we overcame this difficulty is that the we looked at the so I, I'm talking again about the M two one two case. We looked at at, at the at the dynamics uh, of a a random walk which corresponds to three steps. So maybe let's say like this: When we look at the dynamics of random walk, with, which is whenever I'm a new site, I jump three steps using the old dynamics. When I'm when I am at, at an old site, I jump like the original random walk. But when, when I am at, at a new site, I forget of what happens be, between step uh, the, the the current step and three steps forward. So somehow the, this this. Uh, um, uh, somehow uh, uh, gives us uh, um, I mean uh, enough uh, room to, to to subtract something which is not big enough here and the the method is um, for the moment it's it's quite uh, complicated to write because we have to treat I just want to say uh, I, I think I, I have I almost all I, my time is over but we have to treat um, um, many cases, um, which I will try to do a di diagram here to explain. So suppose your random walk originally is at a new site here. And now I want to look at where, where where it can jump after three steps. So the 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 the, the probabilities of where the, 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 the probabilities with which it will jump after three steps to the different sites will depend on whether 
the sites are the cells, the sites that, that surround you on the wall are newer or old. For example, the island, this one is, is a new, so it's, it's an unvisited site. It could happen that all of these are visited previously. Um, so I, I get some kind of a, maybe I'm just a one or 16, a, a one or six. A, I have to look at, 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 at this random walk and apply this a, function to this new random walk YN and, and, and see what goes on. And for the moment, we I think we have to look at like, 11 cases at least. Uh, so I just, uh, okay, uh, I, I, for the, for the, for the, we have something to do with the form of I don't know. Yes. Uh, I try to understand, but you never, I never, yeah, but don't, don't, I, I never success in a seminar. But, but you, but don't, don't say it's trivial. The, <laughs> no, when you are, no, no, impossible. No, when you are in a, in a side, there is, in a, that you have visited. Yes. It, 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 with a big probability, you have visited one of the neighbor sites also. Right, sure. The, and, this is the, and this is the combinatorial part that you must, in some sense, see if you are in the, in what, in what of the behavior you will be in some in the future, no? Yes, so so we, maybe maybe maybe, 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 answer, maybe uh, going uh, in the direction of your question. So the reason why this we can treat this case and not the M two one case, and that's what your question is that whenever you are at an old site, you move like a simple symmetry on the walk, and you and, and, and you don't pick energy there. Mm. So at old sites, you don't pick energy at all. The problem is new sites. And 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 part of what we have to actually we have to analyze what is what you say that there there is a particular for example there is a particular type of configuration where we get we we get something very bad here but we have to show those sites are not uh, are, are unfrequent let's say yeah and maybe less the last thing so then this method I I don't I I don't see how this method would possibly work for the M two M two two one case. Because then, at all sites, you are always picking up. But even I, if, the point is that even in this case, it's not. It's not I think it's not a, so simple. OK, thank you. So thank you, Alejandro. Are there any questions? Is there any way to make sense of the continuum version of this stuff? Uh, yes, uh, yes, you could look at the continuum version, but I, I think that uh, the answer, for example, the size of the range might be very different. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure you will get a like a unique in low. No, like 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 we believe that the range for simulations is at this n to the zero point seven eight, but in the continuous case, I think it, it, will, it might be something very different. Uh, you you can have simultaneous. Simultaneous jumps. Uh, so, by the way, this this model this model has something called the abelian property. It's like the same property that the, the sun pile model has, and that's something we use to prove that that the set D is uh, the probability one empty or or equal to set D. What do you mean by abelian in this sense? So, abelian abelian means that it, um, essentially, if you run several trajectories of several random walks uh, at different times it doesn't, it doesn't matter the order in which you 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 run them the 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 landscape that you will end up having will be the same one it, it's it's very but but in the sense that if that one can hit the other one yes that yes. they see the range of the other right right okay <clears throat> uh, small are there numerical simulations for the m211 case is there any like physical conjecture for the M two one one? If it's recurrent or not? You, you said you believe it's recurrent, but from your no, no. The only simulation is the, is the size of the range that we made. But, uh, That's for the three models, right? No, 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 no. no. So, so for the M two one one case, uh, we did some simulations which which 
seems to, to show that the cardinality of the range is like this. Now, this doesn't say anything about the recurrence or transients. Oh, so I, I, I mean, at least it's not obvious. But, but you, the question is that you, you expect it is possible to make a simulation in which you can check if it is recurrent or not. Ah, or it's, maybe it's, uh, uh, maybe. I, I don't know how to I don't do know. simulation to get that. Yeah. I, I have no idea. No, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, if it's positive recurrent, I don't know what that means. But then probably you will see it. In, but but in, for sure, in. if it is recurrent, it's going to take a huge time to come yes. back to the origin, right? Yes, I think it will take. Yeah, I, I, you're right. I, think I, will, I don't like the yeah. for this. No, I, I, I believe as Pablo says that it will be even longer than the for example theory around the I mean, really much more because you you are stuck in these lines. And, and, and centuries, maybe. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> I I, 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 have to. I mean, I remember when we were looking at simulation with Omer and Mark, and it really looked like you, as Paulo says, it, 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 you would have to wait centuries or something to see. No, but now, now I, don't, I, don't, I don't, but maybe there's a way of doing it. And the Green's function, there is no way. Of, like, can you say something about the decrease of the Green's function? I didn't think about that. Maybe maybe you can say something with the, it the range. Different, yes, it goes different yeah. in this direction. That, that's the graph. The graph yes, yes. Of... So the, the scaling, the, 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 the scaling in this case is a one-dimensional Brownian motion. Because you see, you see it, it, I mean, the, the, the naive scaling would give you, I didn't think about the Green's function. Yeah. Do you have simulations for the M2 and 2 for the range and the M2? No, no. But I, I, I would be surprised if that one has a range for it, which is, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I would this very, very naive guess that the range of the M, of the, of the, of the M12 should be something like N over long and very naively, I would think. But I, I, I didn't do any simulation. That's a simulation I think it's possible to do. Or something like that. Maybe. Yes? Yeah, I want to ask if in the transient cases, uh, there is some the, the probability of hitting a set, and even set is understood for this class of random work? No, no. No? No, 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 I don't think so. Yeah. 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 Even the, the I mean the size of the range. It, it might be possible for, to get some information about that using the methods that, that were used. Maybe I didn't look at uh, that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. There are some really. <laughs> so, you make uh, it depend the way it moves on the number of visits of a side side of your history. You only register when, when you record a visit to a site, and then you do something forever. But it depends on how many times you visit the site. Ah, yeah, sure. But you could have variations for that. The, the coordinates, I mean, you, you mean, you, mean some you, you could have a different rule. Yeah, I mean, that sure, sure. if you take into account that you visit it twice or more, and then you do something else. I mean, that complicates matters, but. No, sure, sure. So, so, so by the way, the, 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 uh, so I, I, I had a. A, ma a master student, uh, Lea Cherry. Yeah, sorry, this one. That's what with your question. She solved that problem. <laughs> yes, but it's very similar. So she, she looked at that problem and actually, and actually, <laughs> in, uh, as part uh, as the corollary, what she did is is that the M two two one case also satisfies the zero one law. I I prove because that's a, a big problem. But, but yeah, it's not something we. Uh, another question. Yeah. Can you do this? On groups, say like random walks of groups. And... On what? On groups. On oh, groups? Yeah. I mean, uh, there would be. Why, why not? Why not? The nightmare, I suppose. <laughs> no, it, well, you, could, you could say uh, a, a group which has polynomial growth of the, something like that. Yeah. Or in a non, non amenable matrix groups or something. Yeah, you could. Okay. Not been done. I mean, no. Perhaps some sort of monotonicity property, trivial monotonicity property, when you compare your model with the simple random walks, 
in different dimensions? I don't think so. I, I may, maybe I we didn't find one, but I, I don't think there is uh, another one. Okay. Okay. Good. Just to continue the question of Raul. So this is very good. There's so many questions. <laughs> in, in three, one, one, one. Like uh, ah, okay, 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 you, okay, you okay. go into into one. If okay. you go one time, uh, you go into one into one dimension. In the other one, the second time you go into one another, and you can go in any infinity yeah, 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 one. Yeah, 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 the yeah. question is, if, can you show that one of these is transient at least, like m ten thousand? One one once. This one is. is I, I never thought about what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what did you show for the conversion with four? No, we look at the case with overlap. So you only have two, we have two sets of, of two types of movement. Okay, then we thank Alejandro again.